power by riding the back of the tiger ended up inside. To those people in the huts and villages of half the globe, struggling to break the bonds of mass misery, we pledge our best efforts to help them help themselves. For whatever period is required, not because the communists may be doing it, not because we seek their votes, but because it is right. If a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. To our sister republic, south of our border, we offer a special pledge to convert our good words into good deeds. In a new alliance for progress, or subversion anywhere in the Americas. And let every other power know that this hemisphere intends to remain the master of its own house. To that World Assembly of Sovereign States, the United Nations, our last best hope in an age where the instruments of war and far out the instruments of peace. We renew our place of support to prepare it from becoming merely a form for a decade. To strengthen its shield of the new and to enlarge the area in which we live they run. Finally, to those nations who would make themselves our adversaries. But a request that both sides begin anew the quest for peace. Before the dark powers of destruction, unleashed by science, engulf all humanity in planned or accidental self-destruction. We dare not tempt them with weakness, for only when our arms are sufficient beyond doubt can we be certain beyond doubt that they will never be employed. But neither can two great and powerful groups of nations take comfort from our present course. Both sides overburdened by the cost of modern weapons, both brightly alarmed by the steady spread of the deadly atom, yet both racing to order that uncertain balance of terror that saves the hand of mankind's final war. So let us begin a day. Remembering on both sides that stability is not a sign of weakness.
if a beachhead of cooperation may push back the jungle of suspicion, let both sides join in creating a new endeavor. Not a new balance of power, but a new world of law, where the strong are just, and the weak secure, and the peace preserved. All this will not be finished in the first 100 days, nor will it be finished in the first 1,000 days, nor in the life of this administration, nor even perhaps in our lifetime on this planet, but let us begin. In your hands, my fellow citizens, more than mine, the rest is my of America. <laughs>